Hello, welcome to a tasting of this week's new coffee release, which is an estate blend from Colombia. I've sourced this coffee because I like to have um, something on my portfolio that sits in what I would describe to be the perfectly balanced expression of what a coffee is or specialty coffee is. So that is something that has uh, an SEA grade of between 83 and 85, so right in the socket of deliciousness without becoming hyper expensive um, and good enough so that we have these um, uh, really defined idea of what uh, great coffee can taste like uh, and also so that we get into the realm of what I would describe as balance as well and what I mean by balance is that um, when you drink the coffee you have this little pop of acidity at the beginning uh, you then have this perceived sweetness that comes through into the cup and then also you have a finish as well a finish that may be chocolate or sometimes fruited um, but I like to have always a coffee on my portfolio that sits harmoniously within that spectrum and that is exactly what this coffee does this is maybe a, an 83 and a half I've priced this so that it fits um, within the accessible end of our spectrum uh, within the portfolio and, and again one that uh, should be a crowd pleaser at this time of year we're at the beginning of December and people will start to think about gifting um, so what I want is people to be able to receive a gift such as this and 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 have a really enjoyable experience so let's have a quick taste of a brew that I've made I've used our uh, Mocha Master uh, bulk brewer for this. I always make a, a liter of coffee for myself in the morning. I don't necessarily drink it all, but I do make a, a, a liter of coffee for myself. Uh, so let's have a quick taste. Mm. Right, and it does exactly what I expect. So what I, what I first taste is this um, sweet orange. So there's a little tickle of uh, citric acid that you would get from, from the orange, but this, um, this, this wonderful orange citrus fruits, um, which is really perceivable in this cup. That then quickly has subsided into a, a, a mix of like caramel and stone fruit, so caramel and cherry all at the same time. And what I'm now getting on my palate is this um, really lovely dark chocolate light -like finish as well. Let's just have a quick taste again. Yeah, definitely. The acidity there is present, but it's not rasping. So it's just beautiful on your palate. Um, and then in comes all of those lovely caramel stone fruits and, and this dark chocolate finish. This coffee is going to be really well suited for pretty much every method of brewing. Whether you're going to be doing espresso or, or filter brews such as this is, full immersion like a cafetiere or even those who prefer a stovetop, I think you'll all find something quite delicious out of this coffee. Um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet today uh, because much like last week we've got an awful lot going on on the roastery. Um, it's a super busy time of year when it comes to roasting coffee for people who are gifting to their friends and family. Uh, but also because we've got quite a lot of um, works going on in the roastery too. 2024 is going to be a, a, a seismic shift change uh, for me in, in this business. And, um, and you may notice that I've uh, stood in our little tech department this morning. Uh, and that's the reason being is if I spun the camera around and you had a look at the actual roasting space, everything is topsy-turvy. So I hope you look forward to trying this coffee. Uh, it will be available from uh, the markets that I do on at Beverly on Saturday. Uh, it will also be available online too. Um, enjoy the coffee. Have a great week.